So good morning. I didn't uh, wake up, so hope you will help me to wake up. Thank you, guys. The good news is that there is like a surprise in the end, so good surprise. So my name is Amir Sherman. I'm working for Aero, Aero Electronics for almost 18 years. I, uh, from my accent, as you, you can uh, understand, I'm not German. I'm living in Germany in Frankfurt uh, for almost six years. But I came from Israel six years ago, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I, I was not able to get the German, so it will be in English for sure. Today, the target is to uh, talk a little bit more about uh, how we can take any idea, any development, any make to production and how we are helping you with, with my team uh, to do that. Um, my job, I'm the director for Engineering Solutions Center. It's a team of almost 50 engineers based in Munich, Frankfurt, Budapest, and Gdansk doing software development and hardware de development. And also, I'm in charge for embedded technology for the cross Europe team. So, everything that SOMS, board, solution platforms. Now, you know, this is, there is this buzz that we are talking about, and you know, it's really came true. It's, it's, it's coming true because, you know, we have our mobile phones, we have cameras everywhere, we have um, Alexas and, and the smart speakers at home, we have our routers at home. So, yes, everything is, is getting more wireless on it, and it's getting more and more and more. So, it, on a typical home, you should have four to five wireless applications in your homes, and this is part of the IoT story, and you can count your mobile phones and your PCs and everything that have wireless connection. So we see that this market is continuing to grow, and we will add and continue to add a, a wireless application to every of our uh, development. Now, it's, it's going to all applications. We are working with smart cities for water and gas and VOCs for air quality. We are working on connected health where parents can monitor the babies remotely and then send the data to the doctors so they don't need to jump all the time to the doctor if only the fever is going 0.1%. And uh, it's, it's everywhere. Now, and we are, as Aero, you know, I believe everybody knows Aero Electronics. We are a $29.7 billion company and we are growing uh, uh, year on year because we are in every product that you ever touched, and um, the target is to support uh, uh, applications like image recognition, speech, predictive maintenance, all of these demos are in our hall, and you can see that. And we see now the, also the hype going to AI applications. Now, not, not every application needs an AI, but it's all started from embedded, Internet of Things, and then it go to the next levels. The trends for the market is that, you know, customers don't have time. So they, they, we, we are not even thinking about what is the part number that we need. What is the solution we, of a problem what we need to solve? And we are moving from parts to solution, more connectivity. Should we use the cloud in, in any type of a, a request? It's very complex, you know. Um, I, I saw one of our suppliers put an LDO. I believe everybody knows what is an LDO with a Cortex-M0 plus inside. So even an LDO have a corset in cortex inside, and it's crazy. So everything is starting to be complex, and I'm not talking about the quad cores and the octa cores. And now there is the Mobile World Congress where the 5G was announced, and you know even 4G is not fixed. You know, NBIoT, LT, cut, cut and one, it's still not there. But we are continue to evolve. And and you know it's all about what happened. You know, the, from the embedded market, today there was no limit. You can have a microcontroller that is 16 megahertz Cortex M0 Plus, and you can have an octa core 2 gigahertz in a cost performance that you can use. Ten years ago, you didn't have that. And the mobile market just drive this down. The people that are there, there is a surprise in the end, so just join and come if you want. So, um, and, and you know, there is no limits. You can have GPUs, um, embedded solution that you can start development. A platform from Qualcomm, from NVIDIA, from NXP, that you can really start, and, and the, there is no limit of what is your start. It's more what you need to make your product uh, go to the market. 
Now, you know, you can start with, with communities platforms. Everybody knows the Raspberry Pi community. This is a great solution because it drives more the market to understand the Linux market. You know, it came for the student market. Uh, but in the end, you know, you cannot buy Raspberry Pi for production. You can even not buy the chip from Broadcom because it's go only to Raspberry Pi. And, you know, you have the Arduino platform that is for the microcontroller, and this is also great. But uh, is this is for production, and there was something we created six years ago, working with Linux, with the biggest Linux uh, community in the world, developing the 96 boards community. 96boards.org, there is a big community that many suppliers are there, and we develop our Dragon board that this is part of the surprise of today. Now, um, things are very complex. You know, the design is very complex. There is a lot of combination between hardware and software. We need operation system on a high level, like, we, like Windows 10 IoT, Linux and Android. We need real time because then normally there is a microcontroller inside the SOC. There is RF connectivity. And things are very, very complex. So, for example, to do that, we connected with Indiegogo and just Google Aero and Indiegogo. Uh, this helps customers that are entrepreneurs, students, small companies to get funded and supported by the Indiegogo and Aero team. But you know, this is for small customers and, uh, and this is great and we are growing. We already got more than 8,000 customers working with us on Indiegogo and my team is supporting that, also the team in Denver and in Hong Kong. Now, okay, let, let's start with something. So, so we need to start. We need to start. I need to start with embedded application. I decided that I want to have a Linux machine. I can get the Raspberry Pi solution, or I can get something that is coming from the 96 board organization. So there are many boards that I can choose uh, based on, on, in example, if I'm taking this one, the Qualcomm-based board, I can take the Mirkat based on NXP, I can take the Chameleon based on Intel FPGAs. I need to start with something. Okay, so I'm starting. And then, um, I, is this fits to, to, to what I need? Okay, so I'm checking and check, okay, is this m enough horsepower, quad core, Cortex A53? Should I have all the expansion of, you know, the UART, SPIs? I have the high speed connection with the MIPIs and the USBs. I have Wi Fi, I have Bluetooth, I have everything, I have all the USBs, I have memory. So I have what I need. And uh, is this a good point to start? Now, should I use that? I don't know. Two years, two years ago, it was one of the best single board computer, and it's still number three popular computing boards on the market. So what does it mean for maker to market? I need to start with something. And then should I copy paste this, because all the data is already available in the internet, and make my design? Because I can buy the components, not like the Raspberry Pi. Meaning that I can copy paste it and start, you know, DDR latencies, it's very complex. So maybe should I connect mezzanines on top and then I add to my design. There are sensors, mezzanine, LTE, cameras, we are working with Bustler for industrial cameras. So this is a good start, uh, starting point. Or maybe I will buy a SOM, you know, the system on model market is there for many, many years. So I will just do the carrier board and then plug a system on model that it's cost performance so th then have all the complex. Why to invent the wheel? It's already there. Or maybe I will buy the same board that it's industrial. This is community, it's very low cost, and this is the industrial version of the same board. It's minus 4085, it's full certified, you can just use it as it is, and you can see here, this was a community board. In this case, they added the, the Ethernet and make a better uh, design. And some customers coming to me, this is exactly what I want, but do you have it in a box? Yes, I have it in a box. So it's the same in a box, and just focus on your software, because it can be a gateway, it can be a solution. And it, this hit me, and three, four, four years ago, we started to work with our partners and telling them, let's build community that everybody can use, but in the same time, use the same company or others to build industrial applications all ready to use. So some customers want to do by themselves, some customers will buy a SOM, some customers will buy a board, and some customers will buy the boxes, the enclosures. And this is how I'm approaching the entire market. So let's see a couple of ideas. 
So we develop, again, from the 96 board, there is a, a form factor called Enterprise Edition. So we use the uh, um, NXP layerscape that went to the gateway market. If you have two gigabits, one 10 gigabit, there is a long family. Now they announce 16 cores with up to 100 gigabits. So this is the board we announced. It's called the Oxalis board. And then there is a SOM in the middle. And you can use this, and you can use this as your reference. Now customers are telling me, this is exactly what I want, but I want it smaller. So we work with a partner named Scalis, and they created the grape board. And this is another surprise for later on uh, for the presentation. Just Google grape board. And it's a, it's, it's a nice Raspberry Pi-like industrial version, full certified solution with the two gigabits that you can use for um, a gateway application. Now, many customers say, this is what I need, because I need that, and I need some pins to connect my small PCB with my IP, some other connections, and I want to put it in a box. Not a problem. You can get it in a box. So this is exactly what different customers want. Not every customer wants to start to develop everything. It doesn't make any sense. We are talking about a Cortex A53 64-bit machine that is running at 800 megahertz, supporting DDR3. It's a complex so why start to develop it? Again, when it's made to production 50,000 pieces, then it makes sense. But not everybody's going to 50,000 pieces in one second. So this is for high-end application. Let's take another example. We had customers in Scandinavia for smart city, and they played with our community boards that are Arduino-based. So we have our Aero Smart Everything family, and this is an Arduino board we developed for community called Aero Smart Everything, ASMI, Sigfox, LoRa, Smart Mesh and NB-IoT. Just Google it. Later on, the presentation can be shared, and we can uh, uh, share this with you. So the customers were playing with that as an Arduino platform. And they're saying, this is exactly what I want. But do you have this with sensors? Yes, I have. There is another partner for us named VicoT. And they created the same platform for industrial. And they put sensors. And you can choose which sensor you want, VOCs, temperature, air quality, humidity, uh, pressure, uh, gas, everything. So then you can choose which wireless technology you want, and then choose which sensor you want, and you can get it. And if you want it, you can get it in a box. So we are working with Dremen in Norway for smart city application. They are buying this exactly Aurora, Aurora platform for a smart city application for air quality. It's different type of customers. Same for HMI application, human machine. You need displays. You're starting with community boards. These are Arduino-based community boards. These are the processor. You see here the Dragon board connected to a big display. And then you can buy a full HMI machine. You can, it's us to support you, whatever you want, depend on your type. And many customers are stuck because this is very cool. No, you, have, you can take this from Aero or this from Aero, or this from Aero. Normally, all of these boards you can get free, and then you can go to the industrial market. Now, ST Microelectronics just announced two days ago their new microprocessor family. ST is a big microcontroller company, announced the Cortex from 2008. Ten years after, they announced the microprocessor family, and Aero is one of the biggest uh, partners for ST in the world. So they announced the MP1. It's a dual-core Cortex-A7 with a Cortex-M4 inside, and it's a microcontroller with processor on top. This is how ST see it. And again, we are already ready, because we are working with ST for more than one and a half year for that. So we just announced, one day after ST announced the processor, we announced a community board named Avenger 96. And this is the community board. You can go and see it in the Aero boot. And if you, if you really have a project, you can, even, you can get one free. And this is a platform that have the ST microprocessor, it have all the connectivity that you want. It's called, you remember the Dragon Board, that it was stuck here. This is the Consumer Edition 96 board, and this is called Consumer Edition Extended. We just add the Ethernet here. And this is a board, and in the back of the board, there is the system on model. Here is the processor in the back of the board. So a customer can take this, all is online free, copy-paste the reference, do whatever you want. Start your design. Or you can have another version where you want to be IoT-oriented, and then we did the same board, adding 
an NBIoT solution here. So you have a quick tell machine to connect to the wireless market. So you have general purpose community board or IoT community board. And this is perfect. And we already had customers saying, I need this, I need a low cost gateway for a coffee machine because they want to measure, to hear the motors in the, in the coffee, so you need a microphone, and they want to connect to get some data out of it. And they said, you know, we are a coffee company, we are not in design, can you do it for us? So we told them, why not to buy a box that have the same board, this board is inside here, and it gives you all what you need, you have the Wi-Fi Bluetooth, you have the LTE, you have the MPU, you have the microphone MEMS, you have gas sensors, and then you can, we can customize whatever you want. So then some customers saying, I don't want to invent the wheel. I would just buy a gateway based on the latest ST announcement of the processor inside. So you now we are, as Aero, my team and, 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 and the entire team, we are getting pre-information from the suppliers all the time to announce products. So then when it's announced, we already have solutions. And this is one example that I mentioned that is showing the big picture. You can start with a community board. You have industrial version of every community board that we did that you can just put your IP, your software, or one PCB. Don't need to do all of that. Or you have the same one closed. And this is what we are seeing for makers to the market. Customers don't want to develop everything now from scratch doesn't make any sense from these complex technologies. Now, we have many, many, many community boards. So I'm in Europe for six years. My team developed more, more than 28 boards in the last four years. So we have the ARIS board for gateway application. This is the AeroSmart Everything for LoRa. We have FPGA boards, Edge. We have RISC-V boards, camera boards, HMI. Uh, this is the Oxalis I mentioned. This is the uh, Aris with HMI, Cyclone 10. Here is the Max 10, Wi-Fi boards. This is Smart Mesh, a, a Bluetooth, Thread, Bluetooth 5, BLE, and many, many, many boards that we announced. And I'm showing that because each of these boards you can get free or low cost from Aero. Just go to our booth, ask for a community board that you need, you will get it. We are not making money from community board. We develop it for you. The target is that you will use this and go to production. And then you are saying, should I start with this? Should I buy a system on model that have the IP, the core, with the, with the processors and the wireless, and then have a carrier board? Or maybe I need all of it in boxes. OK? Same boards that you saw before are here. So gateways, industrial, tablets, industrial gateways, HMI, PLCs, industrial gateways, and even we are giving free the Q-Box that it's for um, digital signage and semi-consumer gateway applications. Now, I, I'm, I'm talking about the Inforce board. This is what the exact customer. It started with this board. This was a community board based on the Snapdragon. And the customer said, I need that, but I need another POE, so I need dual gigabits. We are able to customize that. This is part of the arrow. Whatever you want, we will do it for you. you know, we are a big company. Depend on what customer needs, just talk to our team, the FAEs all across the, uh, Europe, and then we will do it for you. And then in the end, the customer was buying the, the full closure solution. So the target for today is really telling you in 30 minutes that you don't need to have a complex design. You just need to have a complex problem that you want to solve, and we are here to solve it for you. We are a technology platform. The target is to support you, starting with community, and we will just now, in embedded world, we agreed to develop another six community boards, mainly for vision application that will do some uh, artificial intelligence. We announced the predictive maintenance uh, Comox machine for motor listening. There is industrial version of every community board that we are doing that you can take. And then in the end, depending on what you need, we will guide you to what uh, is the best solution for you. Now, I said that there is a, a surprise in the end. And before that, 
the target is to really be a service provider. So, you know, the, the word distributor is really long gone. We are not anymore a distributor. You cannot be a $30 billion distributor. You need to drive technology. You need to support the customers. And uh, we just bought a, a, bear, a very big company named e InfoChips with 1,700 engineers. So we are almost 3,500 engineers. This is not a distributor. It's a technology provider to give you the building blocks and to support you from the maker to the market. Now, I mentioned two boards in my presentation. Now, I have here 10 of my business cards and my business cards all around, so I sign them. So what I need to do is that I need to ask you a couple of questions, and the guy that will get the, the, my business card will just go to the arrow button, hall 4A, 340, and they are able to get these two boards. This one and this one. I mentioned this in my presentation. But do you remember the name of the board? The one on the right, Dragon, board. Dragon Board, thank you very much. I didn't hear what he said. What was the name of the board? Dragon, Dragon Board, thank you very much. So you can get it there. And now I have a couple of cards for the left one. So what was the name of the other one? Avenger, no, but yeah, yeah you, you are listening, so then this is great. So you already got, yeah? The board on the left side, you have something like fruits. Gray board, so this is for you, you can get it. Now, normally, I all the time telling to my wife that women are smarter than men, so I see one, two, three, so you're, the women automatically are getting more from me. Now, we have another f couple of minutes for questions. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great question. So he, his question was, we are developing something for agriculture, and we need uh, some sensors and, and everything that, that is something small. So yes, um, we have something called Sensi Edge, and we just won a, a big business in US for agriculture for bees. So uh, bees, you know, they wanted to measure the temperature, the humidity, uh, pressure, everything for the bees platforms and then send all of it for in the gateways. So just go to Aeroboot, ask for Sensi Edge, you will see it. It's this small and can be up to big, and it have up to 12 different sensors with all options. So you can have LoRa, Sigfox, Bluetooth, NB-IoT, Wi-Fi, and that small. Now, it started from community. This is industrial version that you can, you can have. And I have it in a couple of my presentation. So first of all, good question. This is for you. So you can even get the Sensi Edge from us, OK, or this type of board. Any other question? In so I will encourage you to go to our booth. If you have any interesting project that you want, many of these boards. We are giving more than 5,000 boards in the last three days. 1,500 already out yesterday, so there's a lot, a lot of boards uh, to give today and tomorrow. Thank you very much.